Welcome to Why in the World. My name is Stella London. And my name is Ron Burgundy. Today we are bringing you news about North Korea and nuclear rhetoric. So, North Korea and the United States have been discussing back and forth about nuclear warfare for years. However, in these past few months things have escalated. Nuclear rhetoric is getting intense and has demonstrated the gravity of nuclear weapons in relation to international security. Tensions rose recently when President Trump issued a statement to the United Nations General Assembly suggesting that the United States can and will totally destroy North Korea if necessary. North Korean officials interpreted his statement as an act of war and responded stating their right to take action and form countermeasures. The United States then considered North Korea's statement as an act of aggression and took preemptive measures to strengthen our nuclear program. Social media has added to the confusion and misinterpretation of information between the two nations and their counterparts' motives and reasoning. President Trump has managed to utilize this social media platform to share information with the U.S. public along with North Korean officials. Although he is limited to 140 characters, his messages pack a punch and might even start a war. Some delegates try to make strides within the country they are representing, yet sometimes it can leave GA a little confused. So we had our reporters go out and interview some resolutions we thought were unique. Take a look. Now that we know a little bit more about those worldly resolutions, let's talk about some internal U.S. affairs. In 2016, data breaches jumped by 40%, the largest of which was the internet mogul Yahoo, which affected more than 1 billion accounts. While this year, the overall number of data breaches is expected to decrease, the number of accounts affected is predicted to have gone up by an average of 24,000. In August of 2016, a group of hackers known as the Shadow Brokers claimed to have breached NSA databases, and earlier this year they released a sample of this allegedly stolen information. Their identity is still unknown. WikiLeaks has been highlighted because of their March release of CIA documents referred to as Vault 7. These documents outline the government's hacking of personal devices, like cell phones and laptops, to supposedly track and monitor users. This has been one of the biggest leaks in CIA history, and authorities are still unsure of its source. This September, Equifax, a large credit reporting company, revealed they had been hacked and customers' information across the U.S., U.K., and Canada had been affected. The hackers accessed names, social security numbers, credit card numbers, birthdays, and addresses. This most recent breach affected at least 143 million U.S. customers. The numbers for other countries have not been released. The easiest thing to do to protect your information is to immediately change your password when you learn of a breach that could affect you and to consider signing up for credit monitoring. That's it for now. We'll keep you updated on the latest news. Wow, look at the time. Well, I guess time flies when you're having fun. I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Stella London. Thanks for watching.